okay so this is our uh, third step for the installation of play sms with gamu and uh, in this step i'm going to show you how i have mounted my usb which is located in uh, this system okay uh, so just click on the console option and this will open the console and here you see the usb device connected is the zte wcdma device that is my zte modem okay so basically the usb device is currently located in another computer and the esx server is running on another computer okay so i have just mounted my usb dongle into the esx i server right okay now let's proceed to the next step for the detection and identification of the modem so now what we'll do we'll run the commands for the detection and the identification of our ZTE modem so for this reason we need to install a tool known as WV dial oops go to the super user mode then install the application okay so next you run wv dial conf okay it will try detecting the usb device and the modem so see it has uh, already detected the modem and it is located at the usb 1 now let us go into the configuration file nano okay so here you need to note down some important things like this value that is usb location and the baud rate that is 9600 okay so then we'll exit next we'll proceed with the installation of gamu so gamu can be installed by either downloading the source and then compiling it installing it or you can directly install from the ubuntu repositories okay so here is my play sms uh, vm and i'll be connecting the zt usb click ok wait for some time it will be connected see it is connected as you can see the tick mark is there so then you move into the console then issue the ls usb option uh, you can see the ZTE CDMA technologies that is the modem has been detected uh, Okay, next you issue that WP DAL CONF which will detect and apply proper configurations based on your modem vendor and model So from here you just visit or open this file in an editor Uh, here you need to note down two important values that is first one is this one that is the location of your modem and second one is the baud rate that is 96600 okay then exit next you need to do is install gamu from the ubuntu repositories so here you can see press yes let it install next we'll be creating some folders uh, which will be required for gamma installation done next we'll set proper permission to the school folder next we'll get a sample gamu configuration file from play sms and then we'll copy it to the etc folder we'll edit the configuration
okay so here make the changes the location of your USB device was USB 1 and the baud rate was 9600 control O save control X next we'll create a symbolic link using the ln command we will identify the modem using the gamu utility that is the identity utility of gamu wait for some time till the identification takes place see the device has been identified successfully next we will proceed now we need to do one modification that is we need to change the mm, user allowed to run the daemon and we can do so by using nano then etc init.d and the gamu ssid see and notice very carefully that the user equals to gamu it is already there but there is no user named as gamu so what we'll do here is controls, controls. okay so what we'll do here is we'll delete gamu here and we'll write root control o control x next next for testing purpose i'll be sending an sms to my cell phone and here just follow my blog post that is text followed by your mobile number okay then press enter wait for some moments yes the sms has arrived so this means the gamu is installed successfully now you need to start the gamu daemon so issue the following command to start the gamu process so see here you get one warning that is gamu as service has changed so simply run this one reload and here you leave restart done and one more thing you need to do is for auto starting gamu app nano slash etc slash rc dot local and here just we put the exit zero line just we put the exit zero line copy and paste this line okay next verify if gamma is running so from the process list we can find that gamma is running successfully next what we'll check is uh, we'll check if we'll check the message logs so okay it is waiting for messages now the other configurations which we need to do is from the play sms only so, admin admin then go to okay okay manage credit I'll give some credit to the administrator suppose on 10,000 add credit next from the manage gateway and SMSC just go to gamu gateway gamu select the path back SMSC Gamu. Click on the plus option. Spool folder. Save. Next, from settings main configuration, change the default to Gamu. Click on the save option. Has been saved. Next, compose a message. I
Okay, click on the send button. Okay, has been delivered to the queue. Wait for some time and follow the message logs. And also see from the all sent messages, it is uh, still in pending mode. Okay, now the message will be so the message has arrived and this completes your gamu installation uh, i have shown a very very basic installation of gamu along with play sms now it's up to you how to implement it and how you want to use it with your infrastructure control c exit thank you